and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a simple 3D text effect. We're going to use the Bezier tool for that. Let us create a text first. Size it up holding control. We want to duplicate that so right click duplicate. I'll reposition a duplicate and I want to put it to the bottom. Let me give the front one a different color. So the black one is our text at the bottom of the duplicate and I go to object and lower to bottom. That is the starting point. Select it all, then go to path and object to path, and afterwards object and ungroup. So now all of these letters are individual for the front and the back text. Now we use the Bezier tool. And if you can't see axis on the path, you need to enable snapping and snap to path. So make sure this icon is activated and then your X of the Bezier tool snaps to the path and especially we need it at the corners. So the general snapping is up here that should be activated as well. But then go from corner to corner. When you've got straight lines, don't go directly upwards. Just exceed the line a little bit, make it diagonal. Make sure it's selected, then go to your fill and stroke menu under object. Stroke paint, get rid of it, fill, add a fill. In this case, it should be black, as this is our background color, but lower it to bottom first. So, object, lower to bottom. Now, let me change the color to black now. And you can see this is exactly what we want. Let me select it and use the notes tool to adjust it. And I'll show you why I have exceeded the lines in this diagonal fashion. Sometimes you get these white stripes or like a thin white line when you draw your lines straight over it. So to prevent that from happening, I'll just created this exceeding diagonal line and I've lowered it to the bottom. So that solves this problem. And this is now what we have to do for all of the diagonal lines that we need. So it's best practice to just draw them all and afterwards play around with the full line stroke. So this is what I'm going to do now and I'm going to speed this video up a little bit as it's just repetitive. So here at the X letter, we've got something new. You can see that the black X is in the background of the red T. Just use the snapping function to find the perfect spot. So when you hover around with your mouse, you should feel the snapping. And that should be enough for you to find, to find the node that's in the back and that you can't see. And that's all. So now select it all, just hold shift and left click on it while you've got the cursor to activate it. And when you've got them all, go to your stroke and paint, get rid of the stroke, add a fill. Make sure it's the same color as the background text and then object lower to bottom. And this is the basic 3D effect. As you can see, we've got an example that doesn't have curves, so it's all straight lines. So when you've got a letter like a P and you want to add that effect, it's the same process. Let me recreate that. So once again, I duplicate this and I go to object, lower one to the bottom. Select it both and make object to path. In this case, I don't have to ungroup it because it's only one letter. And now I'll use the Bezier tool once again. The one at the bottom is just what we already had. Make sure you've got snap to path enabled. Otherwise, it won't snap to the path here. Find two spots. 
but the second one I just click and hold and then I drag this handle so I haven't released it and that's the way I can create this curvature Then I close this shape on top of the red. So let me select them both. Stroke paint, get rid of the stroke, fill, add, and make it black. And then go to object and lower to bottom. So that's the way you can handle these curvatures. So when you've got letters like a P and O, A D, whatever. You can also add multiple levels of uh, shadows or for the 3d effect so for example when you want to make a distinction between the lower shadow and the side shadow you can create more levels just like this so let me create a side shadow here and i don't make it fully black i make it somewhat grayish You can see it for now as it's in the bottom, so you need to raise it one level. So object and raise once. And now it's on top of the black and behind the red. I'll have to add that at the bottom as well, as there is another side shadow. And that's how you do that. So it takes more time to create these multiple levels of shadows in a 3D, but it's worth it because it looks even better. And this is how you can recreate this simple 3D text effect in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.